We are Dave and Tiff and in this series we are travelling in our motorhome Roma with our two dogs Zena and Luna and we are heading off for France, Spain and Portugal. Hope you enjoyed this series. Hi, I'd just like to point out in this episode we are using, or this series anyway, we are using a navigation system called Copilot. Uh, we've not used it before and it's basically a navigation system where you can put in your details of the uh, height, width and weight of your vehicle so it doesn't take you down incorrect roads etc. Um, needless to say, it's not infallible and um, this week it decided it would quite like to take us straight through the city. Hope you enjoy the video. We had hoped to have a nice and easy travel from Tavira to Asana in Spain, uh, going right around Seville, but it turns out we went straight through it. Oh dear. Right, leaving Tavira today and leaving Portugal. Oh, pesky flies everywhere in Portugal. Um, yep, leaving Portugal. Back into the land of milk and honey we go. First of all, we're going to pick up another box of wine for Dave. Six euros, three litres. Yeah. Portuguese, it's nice. And, uh, be our last chance anyway. Yes, our last chance before we hit the Spanish border. And it's going to warm up, heat up, because we're going inland a bit. So, hmm, interesting. Mm, very strange bridge. like swamp land around it. Oh, I think there's a little river. Actually. Yeah, a little river, yeah, but it's very swampy. Swamp thing. You make my heart sing. No? Well, something's singing and it's not me and you. <laughs> Go over the river. We've gone wrong already going round Seville. Traffic jam. We're going straight on, yeah. but I don't know which lanes go straight on. Well, I assume the middle one does. Yeah. Ooh, should we plump for this one then? Should be fun. There's the river. This is Seville, Dave. I know. And we're on a roundabout, a motorway that turns into a roundabout. I think it's the motorway. I think we took the wrong exit. Well, we took the right exit according to this. Yes, I know. But I'm not sure co-pilot is the one to... Is your real co-pilot? Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing like going into the heart of a city. <laughs> yeah, but it is a straightish road before we have to turn off onto the... Oh, my Lord. A92. Assuming other people don't... Then circle, do stupid exit things. on SE30 Avenida Well, stop. Seville, the slow route through, not round. Well, that's co pilot for you. That's another minus on the score. It's taking us to Nudo Gotta. Nudo Gotta of, of milk, let's check. 35 degrees, according to that, yes, it is, it's correct. 35. Warm. Oh, it's five past two. Oh, yeah, because we've gained an hour. Lost an hour, I mean. 1.3, we're going left, so we stay in this lane. Yeah. Let's stay in the middle. When in doubt, stay in the middle, hedge your bets. How far off the main ring road are we now? I think that's, that's about it, I think. Could be, that's the A4 then. It becomes, yeah. It's the precursor to the A4. A92 and it's the A92 we want. So we're in October in Seville and it's 40 degrees. It's just dropped to 39 now. Never seen that before. We've been to some hot places, haven't we? We have, yeah. Yeah, 40 is a bit hot. Anyway, that was a mini nightmare going through Seville rather than around it. And now we're on the A92 on the right road, finally. 
So we like how the Spanish roads have those bushes with flowers on. Hey, it's pretty. B, you can't see the other side of the road, so good at night for oncoming traffic and good for pollution reduction, I guess. Noise reduction, just very pleasant. Flowery bushes in between. So just going past Osuna and apparently the bull rings there where the Game of Thrones was recorded. It's a nice whitewashed town isn't it? It's supposed to be a, one of the most underrated whitewashed towns to to and then left on in Andalusia and uh, the big church you can see is the Church of Assumption. Actually, that one there might be the monastery there. That one over there is the church of Assumption. The other one, I think, is the monastery. On the back, GoPro doesn't even pick it up. Well, now that I've just said how nice these bushes are, I can't see. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not sure we're going to stay here because it's very hot. On the air, it's just a car park but we'll see. Um, we did stop off at the free air in Osana, which is um, a corner of a supermarket car park. Um, there was a fellow Welsh motorhomer there who I had a quick chat with, um, and he worked in the same town that I did, amazingly enough, and he said he'd been here a few times and it was well worth a visit. However, we decided to cut it short because it was boiling and uh, would come back another day, so we headed on to Antiquera. So here we are in Antiquera, parked up for the night, in the shade now, and I think, well, we reached 40 in Seville, I think it's about 36 here. So we spent the night in Antiquaria again. Um, I'll put a link to the video we've done before because we've looked around and unfortunately it was so windy last night. Even though it said about three knots on windy and light breeze on um, BBC weather, it was about 40 odd mile an hour gusts and we were rocking. So we've just come across here for breakfast and now we're heading off towards Marbella to meet up with friends. So we probably won't be filming for a while. That's Antiquera. Overnight stop. Too windy today, but a beautiful place. We set off to Camping Cabo Pino, which is between Fuingarola and Marbella, close to Calahonda. And like I said, we weren't going to be filming much, so there's a brief insight to the boardwalk close to the beach, which is just opposite the site, although there is a busy road to get across. And then we went out for a fabulous Japanese-style meal in Kalahanda, um, where the robots were the waitresses. We had a very brief time in Camping Capapino, um, but soon enough it was time to head off to our favourite place, Neja, where we have family and have spent many a time here. Uh, this time we saw birds of prey on the beach and also dolphins.
we've just left Lurka, heading up towards Granada. Five hundred yards ahead, and circle, take first exit towards Mokro. And, um, it's a beautiful day, we've had a fantastic time, but as we've been driving along, the oil warning lights came on. Well, it started flashing. So we've had to pull off the road because we couldn't find any SOS to stop on the A7 and Dave's checked it all out and it all looks good. We're just going to have to reset it when we get to the site. We think it's because we've changed the engine oil ourselves so the service indicator for the oil change um, basically it's been telling us we need an oil change but we don't anyway we must have gone over a certain amount of mileage above that warning and now it's telling us that we have to change the engine oil and the warning light is flashing on and off so fortunately for us we've got um, a tool with us that um, we can hook up to the engine's computer and reset everything ah but that got the heart going a little bit don't like oil warning lights coming on <laughs> no one does no anyway we're just heading up towards Granada ready for the ferry from Santander in a week and a bit's time it's been beautiful hasn't it it's been fantastic weather well, it's 19th of November and it's 24 degrees beautiful day So I've just left the Costa del Sol yeah. and we're heading up into the mountains towards Granada, yeah? Costa del Tropical. Yeah, never been on this trip before, have we? Strangely. That's the other side of um, that range next to your mum's, isn't it? Granada, 51 kilometres. Cool out there. Whoa. Wow, are we going over that one? <coughs> Good morning, Lena. And we find ourselves at Viso de del Mar. Mar Marquez. Marquez. I've taken a picture and put it on. And uh, we were the only van last night. <coughs> Fairly quiet, minus some barking dogs. And we're just going to have a quick look into town. It did go very cool last night. But it gives you instructions on how to get in. And then you've got this rather complicated system where you have to put your passport number in and your details in and your life but it's really tidy isn't it gate electronic life gates history. security cameras it's got uh, toilets waste dump it's pretty good really six euros just to park for the night isn't it yeah. and then you pay for the services that you want on top They're two euros each or something anyway viso del marquez marks marquez that's where we're at. Onwards. The little air is um, just over there, behind that hedge. And this is a beautiful park and walkway that goes all the way down to the cemetery that way, which is the opposite end of town. And then this way takes you into town. And it looks like they've power in the town or a lot of stuff with a solar farm. Um, the only drawback, it was a very quiet night last night, wasn't it, Tiff? Yeah. Is we've got a really big warehouse sort of next to us, but there's nothing going on, it's just it's empty. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, it was really peaceful. So, you know, we had a good evening. Oh. The obligatory church. And that's a palace or something like that. You're very quiet this morning. Am I? Sorry. <coughs> palace or something like that. Yeah. The obligatory church. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. got a horse or something. Christmas lights going up. Mm -hmm. It's a reindeer. Yep. He's cute. Must be the main square of Iso del Marquez.
So it looks like they're putting all the Christmas decorations up and everything. Faiso del Marquis Palace was built in the late 16th century by a senior admiral who uh, created the concept of the Spanish Armada. Unfortunately, he died before it actually came into fruition. I feel neat, isn't it? So, the question is, would you stay again? Do you know, it's a handy stop, not a lot to do, but we're like halfway between... Um, Granada and Madrid. Granada and Madrid, yeah, on the main A4, heading to the... Spanish costas, so it's not a, not in a bad place, and you can't hear the main the main road because we're a couple of miles off it. Um, they've done a good job. Well done, town. We didn't frequent the bars and everything, did we? No, a lot of it. We've just walked in now, and most of them. Yeah, were a lot of the town looks shut. Shut. It's very quiet as you walk through. But um, yeah, they've done a good job. To the next stop. That's if we get out. It's supposed to be number plate recognition. Oh, hey, hey. Look and at it that. works. Perfection. And thanks to Clive Roper on our Facebook page, he's managed to sort out the oil warning light. The sequence to actually turn it off. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week as we head up towards Madrid. Quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here.